In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of uh, changing an icon and changing an image for a table and its usage in the model driven app. Now I'm in one of the solution and as you see on the left hand side, uh, there is a table. So there's a table called as query contacts. And if I go inside that table, uh, I, I'll click on properties. And within the properties, this table is already created. If I click on advanced option, I can do a couple of things. I can change the color of this table. So let me make this color of the table as say maybe some pink. And I can change the table image. Okay. Now let me make this as a admin icon. Okay. Now admin icon is a table image and the color is somewhat pink. I click on save and uh, where, where does it get updated all this information okay now if you see over here on the table uh, display uh, you see this icon and the color which gets reflected over here so we have a like a shield icon okay now uh, so this is an important thing which you need to understand uh, second thing where we can use colors okay so uh, again i'm in that same table uh, but now i'm going to add a new column okay so if i add a new column called as say country and uh, if the data type is say choice i'll say sync with global choice no and i can type country name say usa uk and set here if you watch here i can change the color so if i put usa red uk blue and maybe new zealand say somewhat gray okay now that's how we can change the colors of the choices okay let me close this because country already exists so let me say country okay and then it will save this column so now we have seen how to change the image of the table, change the color of the table, and then change the color of the column. Now, uh, going back here, uh, if you see this table, now what if I use this in a model-driven app? Now, I've already uh, opened the model-driven app uh, somewhere here. Yeah. And uh, if I say publish this app, OK? And if I play this app, let me see how it looks. Uh, in a model driven app okay so if i click on refresh for this model driven app you can see this icon is reflected over here okay the admin icon but what if i want if i don't want to use this icon i want to change this okay uh, however i do not want to make any change in the table so in the table it will still remain this icon but in the model driven app it is different so what i can do is i can go into say uh, so this under the navigation bar. So if I click on this navigation bar, and then if I click on this particular uh, table, then on the right hand side, you'll see something called as an icon, okay, which is a default icon. Now, if I want to make it different, I will use a different icon. Let me use a flow icon, click on apply, I click on save. I click on publish once it is saved. And then let me refresh the screen. It will take a while to reflect the changes, but yes, if you see here, now for Giri contacts in a model driven app, the icon is this, and in the back end, the icon is this. Okay. So it is quite possible that you can take your table can have a different icon and your model driven app can have a different icon if it is referring to the same table. So that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope this video brings some value.